Hello everyone, good morning. Welcome again to your channel, Learn Data with Pranjal. In this video, I'll explain a very interesting concept called cross entropy and how this cross entropy is used to train your models. By the end of the video, you will have the clear picture how the classifications models actually work and how they can be trained. So watch the video till the end. And if this is your first visit to the channel, please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss my any other knowledge video. So basically cross entropy comes into the picture when, uh, when you have a classification problem or I'll say when you are trying to do the prediction in your categories. So class A, class B. So in your two classes, class A and B. And then I have taken three different scenarios to discuss how my cross entropy actually works. There are two uh, classes, class A, class B. And actually your observation belongs to class A. So I have marked one in front of A and it doesn't belong to class B. So I have marked zero. Similarly, it belongs actually belongs to A, actually belongs to A. So in my this first scenario, when my model does the prediction, it tells me that there is a 0.75 probability that it belongs to class one. So since it's 0.75 for class A, it becomes 0.25 for class B because these should these values should be between 0 to 1 and should add up to 1. So 0 0.75 and 0 0.25 add up to 1. Same thing happens over here in this example, in this scenario. It actually belongs to class A, but my model has gone wrong. It's predicting it under class B because the probability is 0.7 over here. So if, since the probability is more than 0.5, finally it would be marked under your class B. Same thing over, happens over here. In here, it actually belongs to class A and my model has predicted under class A and with full probability. That is your probability 1. So now cross entropy comes into the picture. If I am using cross entropy, how my models would be? So first of all, let me write down, write down the formula for cross entropy. So formula for cross entropy would be minus summation y log y minus summation y log y hat. So this is the formula for cross entropy. And one more thing to remember is that this y hat is your predicted value, but prediction in probabilities not in your actual categories. So what's the probability in your, what's the probability of a prediction, right? So when you're doing a prediction, prediction in probability and not in your classes. Now, if I apply the same formula which we have discussed, so the formula would be something like this. So I'm saying minus summation y log y hat. So 1 into 1 into log 0.75 plus 0 into log 0.25. So this would be my cross entropy for this thing. This would be my cross entropy for this thing. Similarly, let's similarly your cross entropy for for this scenario would be this much. So I'll say one into log point three plus. 0 into log 0.7. So this would be cross entropy for the second scenario. Cross entropy for the third, third scenario. So this value 0 into log 0.25 would be 0 because we are multiplying with 0. Now let's see the value of log 0.75. Log 0.75 is minus 0.125. So it would be minus 0.125 but we have a minus outside it. So this value will become 0.125. Similarly, I can calculate this value. Log 3 value is minus 0.5228. Minus 0.5228 and because of the presence of minus, it will become 0.5228. Similarly, this value would be your 0. Why 0? Because this particular thing would be 0. 
and this thing would also be zero because log one is zero. Now let's compare our model. This model and this model. Let's compare our first and third model. In first model and in our third model, both of my model are giving me the right predictions. When I look it from the class level or the category level, what I'm saying to trying to say over here is, if I just look at the category level, so it actually belongs to A and it is marked under class A because probability is more than 0.5. Similarly, in this one, it's marked under your class A. But they, but if I compare this first model and third model, third model is better than the first model because when I'm doing the prediction or marking it under class A, I'm marking it with the full one probability. But here I'm marking it with only 0.75 probability. So what do I see? So I see that, so this model is not that good as your this model. So this model is your perfect model. When I'm marking it, and marking it with my full probability. So this model is my perfect model. And for your perfect model, your cross entropy value would always be zero. So remember one point, when you are doing a prediction, you are marking it under a particular class and with your full probability that your probability one, then your cross entropy would be zero. When I am making some error, my cross entropy value is increasing. Let's see this model. So in this model, my model has done the wrong prediction. It actually belonged to class one, but my model has predicted it under class B. So my cross entropy value has again increased. So remember one thing. So what, what do we notice from this? We notice that your minimum value of cross entropy is zero. Minimum value is zero. Minimum value of cross entropy is zero. And what's the maximum value? Maximum value is infinity, infinite. Maximum value is infinite. So maximum minimum value would be zero when there are no errors. So when there are no error, your minimum value would be zero. As your errors increase, your cross entropy will increase. Or in another word, I'll say, as my errors reduce, my cross entropy will reduce. Another point to note over here is that your cross entropy is a loss function. It's a loss function and I always try to minimize it. It's a loss function and always try to minimize it. I never want to maximize it. I always want to minimize it. I can say that lower the cross entropy, better is my model. So cross entropy, I take it on the basis of my probability values and not on the class values or the predicted category values. So let's see how this cross entropy is actually used to train our models. In my logistic, in my logistic regression, I've seen that I was using this formula e power z upon one plus e power z, where z is from minus infinity to plus infinity. But what's the actual value of z? I don't know. So how, how does, how do the models or the my machine calculate the values of z and how do they finally arrive at a model so let's discuss this and this is your formula for cross entropy minus summation y log y hat and where your y hat is in y hat is your predicted values but prediction in probability is not in your categories i have some data my data enters through this box and in this box i am applying my logistic regression e power z upon 1 plus e power z but here i do not know the value of z and i have already seen that for different different values of z i get different different p values so what i'm trying to say here is that my graph was something like this so this was my this this was my one and this was my zero and this was my and this is your 0.5. So diff, for different different values of z, I will get different different p values. E power z upon 1 plus e power z. So this value can never be more than 1 and can never be less than 0 because of the nature of the formula. 
but how do I find find this value? Even if I take some random value of z, let's say I take some random value of z, I take value of z as 4. So for value of z as 4, I'll get some output and I'll compare that output by passing it in my cross entropy. Right? So this cross entropy is my loss formula. I'll try to minimize my loss. And this loss would, if I again feed this loss next time into my data, then can I then I'll start optimizing my z values. If I get the proper value of z, I can get my the best model. So what I'll do, I'll enter my data through e power z. I'll start with some random value of z and whatever would be my prediction, I'll validate it by using my cross entropy. And I know that I want to minimize my cross entropy. So whatever is your, so let if this iterate for first time, then next time, again, when I pass my data, I will change my Z values. So currently these softwares, whatever softwares we are using, they are very efficient. And we do not even come to know that they have iterated it number of times. So it will iterate number of times and then I get to my Z values. So basically I enter my data through a, some function that can be your logistic function, it can be your softmax function. And I try to optimize it using my cross entropy. So cross entropy is nothing but your loss function. And I always try to minimize my loss function. So this becomes your loss function. So if I start with some random value of Z and if I iterate it number of times by the end, I'll have my the best values. So this brings to the end of the video. I hope uh, you are clear what cross entropy is and how the cross entropy is actually used to build your model or I'll say to train your model. Thank you guys for watching the video. At the, um, at the end, the same appeal. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any of the knowledge videos.